Welcome to Fern Cotton's Happy Place Festival. I am Marcia Sharp and I'm here to guide you through a short Dharma Yoga flow sequence. Before we begin, please take responsibility for your body and practice with awareness. Okay, each day is different. So if you need to modify postures, please go ahead. If you don't want to do some of the postures, that's absolutely fine. Just see how it finds you, take breaks if you need to. The most important thing is to remember to breathe. We're gonna start at the top of the mat, so come with. Palms to prayer position. Roll the shoulders down and away from the ears. Pull the belly back towards the spine. You are standing tall. Deep breath in. Slow exhale. Let's flow. Inhale, arms rise. Up alongside the ears, gentle arch, pressing hips forward. Exhale, float forward, forward fold. Right foot back, knee to the floor. Pressing hips forward, gazing ahead. Plank pose, push up position. Knees to the floor, buttocks to heels, bow the head. Slide forward, cobra pose. Lifting chest. Down dog, exhaling. Right foot lunges forward, drop left knee. Press the hips forward, gaze ahead. Exhale, step your left foot forward, forward fold. Bow the head. Reach the arms forward, rise up. Add the arch if you wish, if it suits your back. Palms to prayer, exhale. Left leg, inhale, arms rise. Forward fold. Left foot back, knee to the floor. Simply press the hips forward, gaze ahead. Plank pose, push up position. Knees to the floor, buttocks to heels, bow the head. Slide forward, cobra pose. Down dog, exhale. Left foot lunges forward, drop right knee. Exhale, step your right foot forward, forward fold. Reach the arms forward, rise up. Little arch. Palms to prayer. Inhale, arms rise. Forward fold. Float the arms behind you, interlace fingers, take the arms up and over as you bow the head. Getting into the shoulders, draw the kneecaps up. Releasing now, fingertips to the floor, step the feet back, Kakasana Crow Pose. Squatting down, tiptoes, knees wide. Triceps to shins. Spread the fingers, tip toes up, lean forward, scoop the belly back towards the spine, pick the feet up. Maybe you're working towards picking the feet up. Balancing here. Chaturanga. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Right heel, turn it in 45. Reach right hand back, hold on to inner foot and lift left leg up. Keep a strong left arm. Breathe here. Half moon, Ardha Chandrasana, right hand comes forward. Lunge your left foot forward. Left fingertips stay to the floor as you float your right leg up. Lift and extend your right arm. If it helps you, point your right toes. Kapyasana. Hands to the floor, step your right foot back, knee to the floor. Torso rises, arms extend. Interlace fingers, index fingers pointing up. Really lift the heart. If you'd like, little shimmy from side to side, little side bend. Lovely, pull the belly back, sink down in the hips a tiny bit more as you gaze up. Lovely, quad stretch. So you're reaching with your right hand to hold onto your right foot. Can you bring that heel in towards the hip? And then extend your left arm, you are facing forward. Breathing here. Side angle stretch, Pajvakanasana. Left hand to the inside of your left foot, lift the hips 
Outer right foot roots to the floor, extending right arm up, and then arm to cheek. Maybe you'd like to add a bind. Left arm inside, right arm behind, and clasping. Deep twist, Parivrita Pajvakanasana. So right knee to the floor, pull that left heel back just a tiny bit and bring your right elbow outside of left leg. Pull the belly back, go deep as you can, press the palms of hands together and you are twisting to your left. Only if you'd like, lift your right knee. Lovely. Lizard pose, so releasing your hands to the inside of your left foot. Little rock forward and back. Good. Forearms to the floor. Little rock forward and back. Then support that right knee if you need to, cushion it, but drop that knee to the floor. Belly forward, chest forward, slight gaze ahead. Breathe here. Lovely. Slow release, half split. So push your hips back, straight left leg, really curl the toes back, bow forward and down. Lovely. Vashistasana, side plank, right hand stays down, float your left leg back. Maybe you are stacking the feet, pushing your hips up, extending your left arm up. Maybe you're keeping your entire outer right foot to the floor. Maybe you are lifting your left knee, straightening your right leg and creating a little bit of a back bend, dropping head back. Maybe releasing that into wild thing. Maybe coming into full wheel. Tiptoes for you, maybe. <laughs> Good. Plank pose, so transition, right hand stays down, left arm lifts. Find your plank. Jatiranga exhale. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Breathing here. Lovely. Turning, left toes in, 45. Reaching left hand inside, then extending your right leg up. Breathing here, keeping a strong right arm, your down dog split. Lovely. Left hand moves forward, Ardha Chandrasana, half moon. Right foot forward, support yourself on your right hand, right fingertips. Lift your left leg up, open up to the left. Lift and extend left arm. Breathing here. Lovely. Kapyasana. So step that left foot all the way back, left knee to the floor, torso rises, arms extend up alongside the ears. Little shimmy if you would like, little side bend. Good, pulling the arms back, lifting your heart, keep a strong core, gazing up. Quad stretch, so releasing, then bringing your left heel in, using that left hand, torso facing forward, right arm extends, fingers in chin mudra, breathing here. Lovely. Pajvakanasana, side angle stretch, right hand to the inside of your right foot, hips rise, outer left foot roots to the floor, you gently rise that left arm up and then float left arm to cheek. Maybe you're adding a bind. Right arm inside, left arm behind. Deep twist, Parivrita Pajvakanasana. So you're dropping your left knee to the floor. You're bringing your right foot back just a tiny bit. Left elbow outside of right leg. Pressing palms of hands together, twisting right. Maybe now lifting, left knee off of the floor. Lizard pose, releasing your hands to the inside of your right foot, little rock forward and back, creating space. Then forearms to the floor, little rock forward and back. 
dropping left knee to the floor and just taking a moment's pause here. Strong core, chest forward, gazing ahead, breathing here. Wonderful. Slowly releasing the pose. Coming into half split. So you're pushing your hips back, straight right leg, curl the toes back, and then gently bow forward and down. Getting into the hamstring, getting into the calf. Lovely. Vashastasana, side plank. So you keep your left hand down, float your right leg back, stack the feet. Push your hips up, extend your right arm. Maybe you're taking it one step further. Entire left foot to the floor, floating that right knee up, trying to straighten that left leg just a tiny bit more, and then arching back, dropping the head. Maybe a four wheel for you or a wild thing. Take your time wherever you are and breathe. And now slowly releasing, keeping the left hand down, coming into plank, chaturanga, up dog, down dog. <sighs> Breathing here. Let's take a moment's pause in Kapotasana Pigeon Pose. Left knee floats in towards left wrist. Scoot the foot over towards the right side of the mat. Push your right leg back. Walking hands back if you'd like to add a bit of a back bend. Lifting the heart, gazing up. You can stay here or come into Ikaparodaja Kapotasana, so adding a deeper back bend. So you float your right foot in, elbow crease, right hand towards right shoulder, lift your left arm. Maybe bending, arm to the back of the head, and then you are clasping. And then trying to bring your torso to face forward, breathing here. Resting pigeon, release the foot, and then gently walking torso forward and down, making a nice little pillow, stacking those hands, elbows nice and wide, resting forehead or cheek. Breathing here. Keep a strong core. Lovely. Walking hands back, releasing. You're going to sit off to the left. Bring your right leg forward. Cradle that right leg. And maybe a nice little rock from side to side. So try and pull the belly back. Try and lift your chest. Breathe. Now you can stay here if this feels nice. Or you can bring your right knee behind your right shoulder. Place your right hand to the floor and then with that right leg, squeeze it into the right arm. Place your left hand down just by your left hip. Begin to extend your left leg, elephant trunk pose. Lift the hips, engage core, lift that bottom leg. Lovely, slow release, set yourself back down, vinyasa. Plank. Chaturanga, upward dog, downward dog. Good. Right side, right knee forward, Kapotasana pigeon. Right foot over towards the left side. Push that left leg back, hips nicely squared. Now take your time. If you want to add the mini back bend, walk the hands back. Lift the heart. Gazing up. Maybe you'd like to add Ikarajaka. I can't speak. Ikapadaraja Kapotasana. Floating. Left heel in. Bring that foot into left elbow crease. Bring the left hand towards the left shoulder and then lift your right arm. 
If you can, bend the arm back behind you and clasp. Try to bring your torso to face forward. Breathing here. Lovely. A slow release now into resting pigeon. So remember, as you walk forward, bowing forward, make sure the hips are squared, the knees are happy. Making a nice little pillow with the hands, resting forehead or resting cheek. Try to relax the shoulders. Keep a strong core here. Wonderful. Walking hands back, breaking the pose. Slowly sitting off to the right. Bring your left leg forward, bend it and cradle it. If you can't do the full cradle, just use your hands, like so. Now you can stay here because this feels wonderful or elephant trunk pose. So left knee behind left shoulder, left hand then comes to the floor, squeeze your left arm with your left leg, place your right palm down by your right hip. Begin to extend your right leg, little lean forward, pick up the hips and buttocks and then use your core strength to lift the bottom leg. And then slow release. Vinyasa. Plank. Chaturanga. Upward dog. Downward dog. Take a moment in your down dog. Breathe. Enjoy the release, the space that you have created. Lovely. Forward fold and twist. Tip toes, hop forward, cross ankles, sit down, extend your legs, double leg forward fold, Paschimottanasana. Sits bones rooting to the floor, anchor the backs of the legs to the floor, inhale, arms rise, curl your toes towards you, exhale, reach forward. Now it could be that you're reaching forward halfway, if you cannot reach the toes, use a strap or a belt. If you can go deeper, go ahead. Try to keep some length in the neck. Try to relax the shoulders. If you need to bring a micro bend in the knees, perfectly fine. Lovely. Break the pose, walking hands back slowly. Seated half spinal twist. So you're bringing your left heel around towards your right hip, right foot outside of left knee. Keeping that right knee facing up and then bring your left arm, armpit outside of leg, right arm behind you, upper arm close to upper back. Inhale, sit tall, exhale, twist. So as if you're looking over your right shoulder and if it helps, close the eyes, breathe here. Enjoy that release. Lovely. Break the pose. Counter twist to your left. Both arms around to the left. Bow your head. Relax the shoulders. Bring it back to center. Switch sides. So your right heel is around towards your left hip. Your left foot is outside of your right leg. Try to sit tall. Keep that left kneecap facing up. Right arm outside of left leg. So you are bending it outside of left leg. Left arm is behind you, upper arm close to upper back. Try to sit as tall as you can. Spin, rotate, twisting to your left. Close the eyes if it helps. And breathe here. Wonderful. Counter twist to your right. So you're breaking the pose, twisting to your right, both arms, Bow the head down, breathe. Good, bring it back to center, Shavasana. Final relaxation, well done. So you are extending your legs, they are slightly apart, sitting tall, float the arms away, take a deep breath in. And exhale, slowly release yourself to the mat. 
Lying back, wide legs, wide arms. Nothing but the breath. Deep inhale through the nose. Slow exhale through the mouth. Deep breath in through the nose. Slow exhale through the mouth. One more time, inhale. Exhale, sigh it out. Just allow yourself a few moments here. Allowing the mind to be still. Calm. And quiet. The limbs, they are soft. Each time you exhale, you're melting into the mat. So just a little rest, a little pause after all of that beautiful work that you have just done. Then you'll gently deepen the breath. And start to wiggle the toes, wiggle the fingers. Then circle the feet, circle the hands. Bringing legs together, keep them extended, taking arms up overhead, point the toes, inhale. Flex the feet, exhale, push the heels away. One more time, point the toes, inhale. Good, flex the feet, exhale. Lovely, draw the knees in towards the chest, take a moment, hug those knees. So feel that length coming into the spine. Little rock from side to side if that works for you. Good, then drop knees to one side, roll onto that side, fetal position. Just take a moment's pause here. So eyes resting. And then take your time, make your way up to sitting. So you can come to an easy cross legs position, half lotus, whatever suits you. You can even sit on a block if that suits you better. Fingers in chin mudra, index finger thumb touching, roll the shoulders down, telescope rib cage up. Chin parallel to the floor, eyes closed or a soft gaze towards the floor. And just a moment here with the breath. So nice and slow. If it helps, count the breath. Try a breath count of four. So you're inhaling slowly, you're expanding the belly, allowing the breath to float up to the chest. As you exhale, releasing chest first and then belly. So a slow wave of breath. Quietly closing your practice. Neck releases, chin to chest. Right ear toward right shoulder. Keep the shoulders down, relax them. Little lift of chin, be mindful as you take the head back. Left ear toward left shoulder. Head comes forward, chin to chest. Other way, left ear toward left shoulder. Little lift of chin. Right ear toward right shoulder. And then head forward, chin to chest. Deep breath here. Good, slow rise of the head. Palms to prayer. Open your eyes so that I can say to you that I am grateful Thank you for joining me. I am Marcia Sharp. Hari Om. Namaste. If 
you like that video, there are loads more talks, classes, and exclusive videos from the Happy Place Virtual Festival. So don't forget to subscribe on YouTube. Do follow us on Instagram for constant updates and enjoy.